and welcome to Hobbit 5 episode 20. I'm Rebecca Platt. H5 is a web series with a new episode each Friday that wraps up the week's key Hobbit production news and the Wondering.net's top stories all in about five minutes. So without any further delay, let's get right to it. Our background this week comes from Michelle Tolo. Keep sending in your creations and maybe one day you'll see your background on H5. As one of our viewers, Pete, said on our Facebook page, it was probably a good thing that Orlando's official casting announcement was made after we filmed last week's episode. And for any of you who happen to live under a rock, yes, Peter Jackson did reveal that Orlando will be Legolas in The Hobbit. Also released this week were the two titles of The Hobbit films. Warner Brothers released the official title, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, and The Hobbit, There and Back Again. Visit thewondering.net to read the entire release and watch a local news video from TVNZ. Thanks to JC, we found out that the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition screenings may be coming to New Zealand after all. JC writes, On the Event and Cinema's NZ website, if you keep scrolling past Lord of the Dance 3D, you might just notice a few extended film screenings in New Zealand. The sessions aren't open yet, but you get an indication of when the films are being booked in. This would be definitely awesome news if it were true. And as a reminder to our U.S. viewers, the extended edition of The Fellowship of the Ring will be playing in only two short weeks, so make sure you get your ticket if you haven't already. Do you have a shirt from thewondering.net? They're putting together pictures of fans and they want to add your photos to their collection. So email a picture of yourself in your torn shirt and send it to t-shirts at thewondering.net and show off your torn pride. And if you're wanting to get a shirt, don't worry. A new set of shirts is being developed right now, so stay tuned for more information. Sir Ian McKellen updated his blog on Tuesday, and he talks about Benedict Cumberbatch. McKellen said he saw part of Benedict's screen test and claims it was electrifying vocally and facially. There is still speculation surrounding Cumberbatch's role, so keep adding to the discussion and send in your thoughts. TVNZ's Close Up program aired an interview with James Nesbitt, who will be playing Bofer in The Hobbit. In the interview, James gives his thought about Wellywood and talks about his acting career and, of course, The Hobbit. You can see the interview on thewondering.net. Noldor blog author Jack may have captured the first look at some of the pieces for The Hobbit. He managed to take these high-resolution pictures of what looks like set pieces as he was driving on State Highway 2 in New Zealand. You can see all the pictures and read Jack's entry at the Noel Dwar blog now. Sir Peter Jackson answered the first of many fan submitted questions on his Facebook page earlier this week. The question refers to the White Council and the attack on Dol Gador, and Jackson says we will definitely see it in the film. Visit his Facebook page to read his entire answer and see an exclusive picture of the White Council. This week, we're going to talk about Oing for our character study. He actually doesn't have any speaking lines in The Hobbit, but we know that Oin and his brother Gloin are great fire starters. Unfortunately, the brothers were also known to quibble a bit about the best techniques for lighting a fire, and they lose their tinderboxes in the caves underneath Moria. They apparently gain new ones in Lake Town, and Oin lights and brings Bilbo a torch as he explores Smaug's cavern. John Callan has been chosen to play Oin in The Hobbit. Although he was born in England, John moved with his family to New Zealand when he was 16 years old. He's a pro when it comes to acting and has been in or directed more than 100 stage works, two dozen TV series, a few films, hundreds of radio plays, a number of commercials, and literally thousands of voiceovers, including 150 documentaries. And if that's not enough, John has also worked as a lecturer, teaching acting and media studies. That's it for this installment of Pop in 5. I'm Rebecca Platt, and thanks for watching. Be sure to visit our new website, hobbit5.com, where you can find exclusive content. While you're there, why not consider making a donation to the show, get t-shirts, sign goodies, producer credit, and more. If you enjoy the show, help us keep bringing it to you. Until next time.
I mean, maybe Peter Jackson will add something, but it's not in the book, so. But then again, neither is Legolas. Hey, dude, what up? High five.